Yo. Justin Reed. Hey, Justin. What's going on? What do you What do you miss when you not, don't have Chris Jones around? What do you kind of miss out there on the field with him being here? I mean, Chris Jones is a great player, man. Excellent player. I mean, he, his tape speaks for himself. Um, but the situation is what it is right now. We're excited to see the young guys come in and put on some tape, and it's a great opportunity for those guys to go and show what they got. Have you had a chance to talk to Chris lately? Nah, man. I'm, He's a professional. We let him do his thing. I'm focused on the guys here, taking care of the DB room, making sure that our young guys are ready to play. Speaking of young guys, been there obviously since uh, OTAs. What are you seeing day one, better for the rookies? Yeah. Um, I mean, I'm going to start with the second-year players. Uh, start with my partner in crime, Brian Cook. I mean, the guy is a, is a baller, um, very cerebral player, um, probably the loudest communicator on the defense out of the DBs, and, you know, you'd love to have that, a vocal guy who's confident in the back end. I mean, all the young guys, Trent McDuffie, Jalen, Jay Will, um, Nazi Johnson, all doing an amazing job. The young guys coming in, Isaiah, um, you know, Echo. They guys, you know, they have their ears wide open. They're humble. They're willing to learn. Um, SPAC's system is not easy, but they're willing to put in the work. And we have good veterans in the room that's willing to lead them along and teach them. We talked about it in the offseason, Mark. What are you all doing as a core group to kind of, kind of, you know, bring them in and mentor them? And oh, yeah. You know, we, we keep it fun. Um, we went bowling earlier this offseason. We also went to um, just do a couple other group activities, hang out at the house. I got a pool table that nobody's been able to knock me off the top from. So, you know, just, just fun, fun things like that. Terry, you, you talk about the uh, the young guy. What about the veterans? Uh, Mike yeah. Edwards. He's, yeah. he's a guy that's been around the league. Mm -hmm. uh, what does he bring to this defense? I mean, just, again, veteran experience, a guy who's willing to learn. Um, this playbook isn't easy, but he's brought a lot of similar concepts in his career already. A uh, guy has great ball skills. Um, following along that lead, Legereus Sneed, man, the guy... You're going to have to bring the bring chokes out for him, too, eventually, because, you know, he's a hell of a player. You could put him on any number one throughout the league, and, he, you know, he holds it on. Justin, speaking of veterans, um, I mean, you yourself, you talked about how confident you are coming into year two in this mm -hmm. defense and that you deserve some respect as one of the top six in the league. Just how confident do you feel in just stepping out on Trent Kennedy? Yeah, extremely confident. Um, I've been working heavy all off season. I was right here working every day. Um, I didn't realize that I put on 10 pounds of muscle, uh, but I did. And I'm 10 pounds, I'm like 217, about 5% body fat, but I don't feel like it. I still feel like I'm 205. Uh, I was working like Keanu Reeves, you know, and John Wick, just, just assassin mentality. Um, but I feel really good out here. I'm confident in that I know the playbook inside and out, and I'm not out there thinking, I'm just out there playing. Um, so I'm excited about uh, what I'm going to be able to do to contribute um, to this defense truly being dominant this year and uh, finally getting some uh, recognition and respect that I feel like I deserve too. Justin, what did you think of that ESPN list? That came out, what was your first reaction? Um, first reaction is the opinions of people that don't matter should not matter, so don't let it sit on me too much. But at a certain point, too, you know, I'm like, I'm a guy that likes, I like to work hard, I like to be humble. Um, but there's a little bit of it, too, that's like, in today's game, you have to advertise for yourself a little bit. So I feel like I have to put the message out there so people will pay attention, because the tape doesn't lie. And when you turn on my tape, you know what I mean, you're going to see exactly where I belong. Absolutely, absolutely. You know, it's, it's, it's never hard to motivate me because I take every little thing and I use it as, you know, a, a fire to light me up. Just, yeah. How about the crowd today? How that affected you and your teammates having all these guys? Oh, we love having them there, man. I mean, Chiefs Kingdom is international. It's amazing to hear them cheat. They bring energy to the guys on the field. They make this a lot of fun. Um, otherwise, Andy Reid's camp are no joke. And, you know, they make it a lot more bearable to come out here and see them cheer and smile and who and who I. Uh, it makes it a lot of fun. Justin, you elaborate on Andy Reid's camp being no joke. What did you learn about it last year, and, and what, is, what sets it apart? I came in prepared this year because last year, the first week or two, was just tough. I mean, it's just very fast. It's very fast, and it's mentally challenging um, because he makes it fast to make the games easy. This training camp that we do, the practices, are way faster than any of the games are, ever are. So it makes the games very easy. You know, and By the time you're running the play, the next ball is already, is already spotted. You're already back to the line of scrimmage running the game. We draw back to the huddle. We draw from drill to drill. Everything is very fast-paced, challenges you mentally, challenges you physically. Um, but it makes you truly prepared for when the season comes. I mean, how much does it feel different to be isolated up, up in this environment? I, mean, you know, I think this, this is where the chemistry comes in. I mean, one of the things that makes the Chiefs so fun to watch is you see the personalities and how the whole 
whole team gets along with each other. And training camp is a big part of that because we come here, it's kind of like college, we're in dormitories together, we hang out all day, you get to know your teammates, we have a lot of fun together, you build those relationships. Oh man, huge, huge. I mean, we're at the time now, like, this is this is a prime for the Kansas City Chiefs kingdom, man. With the, with the talent that we have offensively and defensively, um, the better in leadership along with the young guys coming in and playing really well, especially when we need them to, um, it's an all-time right, it's all-time high right now. And Nick is the leader of the defense in that. And the play calling, making checks, making calls, um, everyone on the field has the utmost confidence that whatever Nick says, that's what we're going to do and execute. Yeah, I mean, all the guys are just fundamentally sound, man. That's the biggest thing. This this playbook is challenging, so sometimes it's hard to see um, because you got to get the checks and alerts in. Um, but just physical attributes that he possesses along with the other rookies, um, he has the things that you can't coach. Size, speed, hunger, um, well-conditioned, he runs. You know, so that's what's most important right now, and then everything else is going to keep coming along with it. Justin, what is your favorite memory or moment from being at camp last year? Favorite memory moment from camp last year? Probably when it broke and I got to go home. <laughs> you know, but, uh, but it's fun, um, you know, playing chess with the guys. I got to have a couple chess partners with Joe Thurney, and I played uh, Coach G from last year. And we got a, a champion in the room in, in Drew um, that as soon as I'm done with this, I'm going to go find him and challenge him and see if I can take the belt. Uh, but I like, I like having fun with the guys. Thank you, guys. Yeah, Thanks appreciate y'all.